Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please come in. Thank, Thank you. Nice you. woman here. Yeah, yeah. Athena, uh, I, I try to keep, um, keep, keep her on all the time. Mm. Athena's a machine, and she, it's like a little radiator heater. So yeah. It, she keeps us nice really and warm. Nice, yeah, really but nice. summer it's the other way around. It oh, yeah. gets really hot. Yeah. So this is a machine Athena. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a grinder mm -hmm. mythos, mm -hmm. and they're from the same company. And I didn't name them, the names come from the company, right? Um, but they're very different. Athena is very old fashioned, mm -hmm. uh, I think they've been making it maybe I, I don't know 50 years, mm -hmm. basically the same. Um, it looks different because it works different, it doesn't have a pump, it doesn't have any electronic control, right? Instead, um, there are very strong springs in here. And uh, push those those things, push the water out instead of a pump driving it. Yeah. So it's all mechanical. Um, if something goes wrong, there's a good chance maybe that I can fix. Uh, okay. That's one of the reasons why I chose it. But um, but apart from that, it's more tactile. It's more personal. Yeah. It, and it's really like really beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah. really, really good. Mm -hmm. And the way the river moves, we'll do a shot later and mm -hmm. we'll see, but that's beautiful too. But on the other hand, mm -hmm. Misos, he's a modern modern man. Modern man, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got lots of electronic controls. He even has a heater here. Right. To to keep the beans at the consistent temperature. Yeah. Grinders have to grind coffee very finely for espresso and to do that consistently is not easy. But right. Mythos, he's, he's very reliable. Oh, that's he's good. Very yeah. Solid. Yeah. yeah, so these two mm -hmm. have been with us for four or five years mm. and they, they've been working really well. I noticed, <laughs> the, um, I noticed the clock on the shelf there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is there any significance with that clock? Yeah, or? actually that's my childhood alarm <coughs> clock. Um, when I went back to Japan a couple of years ago, um, at my parents' place I found it and I that's brought nice it back look. home on flight and it started ticking yeah, very distinctive. on an airplane. Yeah. And it made me nervous, <laughs> <laughs> but that was okay. <laughs> yeah, no, very distinctive in all your videos, always got that too. Yeah. I actually like the sound of it, yes. but I don't think I can fall asleep beside it like I used to do. Right. It's just too loud. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you've got some sort of good luck charm, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. That, that's okay. actually from a very famous shrine in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend in Malkuta went to Japan just before I opened the shop and he brought it back. Mm. But on the other side, there's an instruction saying, Expiry date one year. <laughs> you have to come back and Good renew and pay for it. Oh wow! Yeah. 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 But I think you I think I get. That? Yeah, no. But I think I, I have an overseas exemption. Right, maybe. right. So, so it's it's um, I'm looking after as well. Oh, and actually, actually, in the morning when I come here, I clap twice, bow twice, and clap once and bow once. That's how we do it. And right. I actually do it uh, to to pray for. A, a good a day, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. And at the end of the day, I do that again. And when I go home, yeah, uh, I say, Good job, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I make sure that I'm perfect. And yeah, if good. sometimes I forget, right? But after looking, I, I remember and I come back in and I do that, yeah. No, that's good. All right, may I offer you a coffee, yes, please? Yeah, yeah right. that'd be great. Thank you. Let's, let's, uh, let's go short. And ju just before you start, so yeah. I, and I remember seeing in some of your uh, posts that you yeah, yeah. you were sleeping on the floor down here. Yeah, yeah, I did. I actually enjoyed it, but um, the night before the big bushfires a couple of summers ago, um, a farmer friend in the area warned me that the fire's really coming. So I thought I would be safer in, in the shop. To the town. Yeah, so I came here and camped and. I was going to camp just one night, but the fire actually came, mm. and I ended up staying here for about a month. Yeah. And I tried to open early, and I tried to stay open till like five o'clock. I closed once, mm. but then around about midnight, Victoria police people had to go to the state border right. to man the roadblock, and they wanted coffee. So I woke up 
and I made coffee in my pajamas wow. for them before they went. Wow. And, uh, that that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. So yeah, so sleeping here made it possible to do those things yeah. and yeah that, that was that was nice most people wouldn't realize but it's actually co quite cold outside now yeah and in here yeah. it's uh it's quite warm and you've you've not got any heating other than the coffee machine yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and that heat can be utilized for other things like making yogurt all right i actually make yogurt here yeah, all awesome. night yeah um it's Better to leave the machine on if possible so that the temperature stays the same. Um, metal things, heated, cooled, heated, cooled, that cycle um, is not really ideal for the longevity of the machine. Yeah. Okay, so a coffee? Please, so, yeah, that'd be great. So I'll, I'll explain a little bit more. I have, I have maybe three scales, sometimes I have four. I weigh what goes into the basket. Mm -hmm. I aim for 20 grams. And this is for that. Mm -hmm. And then after I pull a shot, I weigh, I try to weigh not all the time, I, I weigh what comes up. Mm -hmm. And this is a timer as well. So I time how, long, how many seconds it takes to, to pull a shot. And it may sound pedantic maybe, but when you come to think of it, when you bake biscuits mm. or cakes, mm. you measure your ingredients like you like I do coffee, and you set the timer on your oven probably mm. to to keep the good time. So yeah, I, clearly I, it works for you. Yeah, yeah, consistently and, great. <laughs> yeah, that that's not everything, but it's good to have uh, numeric parameters yeah. because I can't be testing every shot. That's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> This is the first um, grind of the day, mm -hmm. um, so I got the fourth one. So I give myself 0 0.5 mm -hmm. this way or the other. Right. Um, Dukes, my coffee roasters, who helped me learn more about coffee. Mm -hmm. Their instruction is tolerance of 0 0.1 gram. 0 .1. But I give myself 0 0.5. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I flash. We will not use this shot, but time a test. Oh, so four, five, six. But now it starts dropping and it's beautiful when it drops. Maybe you can use this with good software. Maybe we will use this. Uh, I manually cut. Cut is to stop a mm -hmm. shot. I look at the color, I look at the volume, I look at the time, and now I think it's just about right. Mm -hmm. yeah, looks good. Um, this system works differently to the um, pump system. It starts at a very low pressure, mm -hmm. gently wetting the coffee, mm -hmm. and then when the springs engage, it goes up to a very high pressure. Mm -hmm. um, usual pump machine, nine bar typically, but this goes up to say 13 or 15. Wow, yeah. And the higher, the higher the pressure, the more CO2 dissolves, mm -hmm. and then it bubbles when it comes out. It's like just pouring cork. Mm. That, that's what the crema is. Mm. So, CO2. Yeah. So, so you can't really measure what comes out with volume because it depends on how bubbly it is. Yeah. The newer the roast, it's more bubbly and it changes with other things. That's why we tend to use yeah. wave. Mm. Okay, so what coffee would you like? Um, I would love a latte. Thank latte. You. Yeah, a latte would be great, thank you. Would you like a sugar? I would, thank okay. you. So, latte, I love my mm -hmm. and sugar one. Many places actually spell out latte or flat white, but yeah. I think the less the better. Yeah. So I just do that. I sugar fast. Your just a latte, no sugar. Thank you. And I write things on cups. 
This is you, Kelly. The、mm -hmm. message from the coffee god today is the moon. moon. I don't know what it means to you, but、mm -hmm. and yours is an exclamation mark. Thank you.、Okay. I have like 25 different ones. So I tell this. And the great thing about the paper cups, they weigh the same all the time. I don't have to tell all the time. It,、mm. In this case, it's 6.9、yeah. all the time. So 22.8, that's good. I aim for 45. To come out from the、mm -hmm. whole thing, splitting that into two,、yeah. 22.5, that's really good. Excellent. Yeah, that's good, so it should be okay. So now I have to clean h e r e When the wand is not used for a while, condensation builds up, so that's why I did that. And I only have one size,、mm. so I know sort of exactly how much milk I need. And this is how I keep my milk in an esky with frozen, dog dog,、um, frozen bottle of milk,、mm -hmm. um, milk bottle, recycled or reused anyway, like, any, like, like everything else. Okay, so we purge again. We try, to, we try to disturb the surface enough so that air gets caught in it in the beginning.、Mm -hmm. And this is the sort of sound you want to hear. Not, not, yeah. And then we lower it just a little bit to incorporate the bigger bubbles and to break them into tiny, tiny bubbles. And we stop. I am to stop at about 60 degrees, and my, that, that's done by, by me monitoring how painful my hand gets. So 59.4, that's okay. So I pour half into yours, should I want? And I pour yours first, please. And I'll do my famous, my famous vanilla bit. And this is a wonky one, but <laughs> the beauty about the vanilla bit is that wonky is okay. <laughs> yeah. But like、uh, leafy ones and other more professional ones, unless they're really s m e t h y g o l they don't look beautiful.、Mm. Maybe more like. I'll, I'll do a teddy bear for you. Not the greatest one, but that's okay. Yeah, ugly can be good. <laughs> um, I make him worry a bit because <laughs> I tend to worry myself. <laughs> okay, so that's your two. Um, this is you, Chris. Thank you. And、um, this is you, Kelly. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, it's on my way. And I put myself a long lap, if that's okay. So, release it, knock, and then wipe clean. Turn it again. To make it sort of even. Yeah, just a little bit more. I've got some here, so. Yep, that's good enough. And they used to say you need to come reasonably heavy,、mm -hmm. but these days, as long as it's flat, it doesn't really matter. It's the Um, dominant thought, I can't agree with that. So, this time I pull just a little bit differently. It's an experimental thing for me now.、Mm -hmm. I prolong the first low pressure phase, 
I usually I engage the leader now, but I've been working till I get about ten years old. What effect does that have on the coffee? I think I think it highlights more acidity, uh, nice acidity, mm. and as a black coffee, I think it it works. I, I like it that way better. Mm. And when the coffee pack is more properly pre-infused, wet it, mm -hmm. it gets the pressure gets higher when mm. the springs get engaged, so we get more bubbly bits. Mm. And then it's just going to go um, using this special jar, um, get 120 mil. Then pour the hot water. Coffee. All right, great. Okay, we can have Beautiful. coffee now. Thank you very right. much. <laughs> so let's have a coffee and let's have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.